so that's the unit training and they talk about standards and they talk about making it part of your your physical training yeah right if you're gonna train that's that's another thing like police officers that 20% of time that should be spent training that includes like how are you getting in shape are you in shape you want to be in shape if you're a cop oh my god you know you see these you see these uh, some of these videos of police officers and you're thinking, wait a second, how is this person gonna gonna stop anybody that's remotely athletic? Even if I just run away, how are you gonna catch anybody? Yeah. And you know this this whole thing, you know that we did a podcast on the Uvalde situation, and it, it's just yeah, it's terrible. It, what else needs to happen in America to realize that we need more training? And by the way, that Uvalde situation, the fact that people didn't respond and 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 acted in a cowardly manner is also part of training it's also part of training because you learn like oh if i don't do something aggressive then i'm gonna get caught i'm gonna i'm gonna look bad i'm gonna be yeah. bad i'm gonna the culture changes if you have a culture and i used to see this with seal platoons if you had a culture that like you had some of these seal platoons coming through and they were like ready to take on the world mm-hmm. and you throw some scenario at them they were going on the attack and that's a culture that that happens. Yeah. You have another SEAL platoon where it's like, well, we're cautious. We have a zero defect policy. We don't yeah. want to get in trouble. We don't want to do anything wrong. We don't want to look bad. And that's what happens. You see them stack up on a building. Oh, I don't want to go. Do you want to go? I don't want to go. So you yeah. have to you have to inculcate them with the right culture <clears throat> where they know, hey, if you make a mistake, it's okay because you're getting after it. I mean, we just did a freaking podcast about the damn Nazis. And part of the Nazis culture that they tried to instill was we'd rather have you make a bad decision and do something than not make a decision at all. Yeah. The worst decision is no decision. Yeah. Yeah. So the training that I'm talking about, it involves everything and it corrects all these problems. It's get them a shape, get them more attuned to to stress, human confrontation, de-escalation. Uh, how to defend yourself, being how default to, how aggressive, to, how to not damage or how how to lessen damage to a suspect. Yeah, I think it's I think it's awesome uh, overall. We've yeah. had that department that I mean, this, I'm not saying this should be the policy, but one was in Michigan, some county, the sheriff, everyone had to be a blue belt in his in his department. Yeah. Now I'm not saying that should be. Well, then again, that so, well it sounds like it. we're we're on, we're on the right track. Yeah, we're on the right track there. I'm just saying, like <clears> like <throat> I think it's a, but then again, we're partial because. We, we have this great reality called jujitsu that we're exposed to with yeah, the average yeah, yeah, person. But, but also, we're seeing the news, and yeah. we're seeing cops have to do things and get beat up by one guy and taking two or three people to take somebody and getting weapons taken away, and it's like awful to see. How is this even happening? So it's not, look, we might be biased towards jujitsu. Fine, take my bias out of it. I'll still tell you that you better learn how to fight, and you better train, and you better spend time training Jocko, you've seen at least 10 different videos. So 10 different, I'm talking Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt versus um, uh, random. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah like, 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 like for instance, like he's mounted on the guy, calm, like Matt Sarah yeah. in Vegas, yeah, yeah, this yeah, drunk yeah. guy was harassing him and, and even and, and Hall, uh, Ryan, Hall. <laughs> Ryan Hall also yeah. in some Wait, restaurant. Ryan Hall? No, Ryan, Ryan Hall. Oh, Ryan Hall, yeah, yeah. Well, drunk people, and they're just mounted like, hey man, calm down. They go, oh, I'll, I'll sue you. And they're holding the guy, you know, hey, call with the cop, you know, and the security comes and no one gets punched. Yep. And I know this is, you know, cops and the guy doesn't have a gun. I understand, but I'm saying these are black belts, which is, of course, different level, but they're holding the guy down, not hurting him. Yep. And they and they don't have three homies with, with, with uh, batons. So, by the way, you want to have groups, you want to have uh, uh, team tactics with law enforcement, of course, I'm not saying. But it is cool if you have the ability and the opportunity to. Well, look at that. And it's also one from Brazil. This guy tried to, I mean, I'm not saying, I think she just left, but she's, this, this guy tried to, uh, I don't know, rob, take her purse or something, and she's like mounted on the guy, just beating him up. This is in Brazil. It's a Dang. legit black belt. If you're just female, just <laughs> the guy screaming, he's That's going, bad. socorro, socorro, which means help in Portuguese. Socorro, <laughs> socorro. It means help in Portuguese, and no one's helping him. <laughs> it's just <laughs> filming. Oh, it's like a chick just mounted, just beating the guy. Like, it was kind of brutal, but, but um, that is just, let's say, it's a grandiose comparison, but... If you have that opportunity and that ability, it's pretty cool. Yeah, there we go. And 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 it's 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 heinous to watch this stuff on an almost daily basis. Or I mean, at least once a week, you're seeing a video of a of a cop that's not trained. Yeah, and and it, at a bad outcome. And look, there's there's all kinds of cops that are doing the right thing all the time. There's cops that train jujitsu. There's cops that are that are doing things right to the best of their ability. By the way, they're investing their own money yeah. and their own time 
so that they can be better, better police officers. Good on them, but should you have to make that sacrifice? And by the way, what if you know a guy's got a wife and kids and he's got a mortgage to pay and all of a sudden, you know, it's $148 a month to, to train jiu-jitsu or it's $165 a month to train jiu-jitsu. All of a sudden it's like, mm, I, I gotta make a choice between, you know, getting my kid a new bicycle and training jujitsu. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna sacrifice this month and the next thing you know, they look up in three years and they're not training anymore. Yeah. So why not help the police so that they can help the community?